Welcome back. Let us go through what double DES is and what triple DES is and how different it is from DES. As you've already observed, DES is data encryption standard which uses a 56-bit key and produces a 64-bit ciphertext. So we have actually gone through the description of DES algorithm in the previous video lectures. So DES basically takes in a 64-bit plain text, uses a 56-bit key and produces a 64-bit ciphertext. Right? So since the key length is 56, right? So this code that is the DS algorithm can be easily cracked or can be easily broken because totally we have 2 power 56 combinations or variations of the key which can easily be broken. Right? So in order to provide a high level of security, so in order to provide a high level of security, it was decided to use DS twice. So instead of using DS once, why not use DS twice? So what happens in double DS? So it basically uses two instances of DS using the same plain text, right? So we have two different keys which are used. So in DS, there's a 64 bit plain text, right? And you have the key length of 112 bits. Right? So therefore, I have the first 56 bits which is used during the first stage of encryption and here you have the intermediate ciphertext say, stage. So this happens to be the intermediate stage and this 64 bit data is again given to the encryption algorithm which uses the next 56 bit bits of the key. And then finally we get the ciphertext, right? So essentially we are using DS twice and that is known as double DS. So we would think that instead of having a security of 2 power 56, now since I'm using DS twice and since we use a key of total length 112 bits, we expect to have a security of 2 power 112, right? But because of this intermediate stage, so what happens, there is a problem which occurs and that is referred to as meet in the middle attack. So because of this meet in the middle attack, double DS is not used and the amount of security which double DS provides would just be 2 power 56 instead of 2 power 112 and hence double DS is not used. Right? So then they came up with another concept of using triple DS. So how different is triple DS? Let us observe. <clears throat> so in triple DS, as the name suggests, we have to use DS thrice, right? So the key length would be 56 into 3, right? So the first 56 bits you, you being used for the first stage, the next 56 bits you, being used for the second stage and the remaining 56 bits used for the third stage. So 56 into 3 would be 168 bits, right? So let the first 56 bits be K1 and then K2 and K3, right? So we have the 64-bit plain text which is given to the DES encryption algorithm which uses K1, 56 bits of the total 168 and it produces a 64-bit data at the output, which happens to be the intermediate cipher, right? So the next, what happens? The next stage, we run DES in reverse order using the next 56 bits, which is K2. Now, what does this mean? We shall see. And then again, I get the 64-bit data this is again given to the DS encryption algorithm, which uses the remaining 56 bits, which is K3 to produce the final ciphertext. Okay, so we know that when the encryption algorithm is run in reverse order, it is nothing but decryption, isn't it? Right? So therefore, here we perform decryption using a different key K2. Right? And hence we write DS is run in reverse order. 
right so the encryption and decryption algorithms are actually run in reverse order right so how do i express this so to get the cipher text we have the plain text i encrypt it using ds algorithm using the first part of the key k1 and then we decrypt it using k2 and again encrypt it using k3 and finally we get the cipher text right the cipher text again is of length 64 bits now how do i get back the plain text so to get back the plain text we have the cipher text right so it is in the reverse direction so i have to decrypt using k3 so here when i do the process of encryption in the second stage i have decryption taking place but here when i do decryption the reverse order is nothing but performing encryption using k2 and then decryption using k1 to get the plain text right so this provides a total security of 2 power 112 right so therefore double ds is not used because it does not give us a security of 2 power 112 but whereas triple ds gives a security of 2 power 112 and what does this meet in the middle attack right so we need to know why double ds failed and why it's not being used and why they came up with triple ds so what does this meet in the middle attack so make sure that you keep watching for the next lecture session where we shall discuss meet in the middle attack and we will also understand why double ds is not used because of this problem thanks for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads